What's up, people? How you doing? This is your boy, Jerl. It is Monday, May 6, 2013. I hope you had a lovely and restful weekend. I hope it was fulfilling. And all of the endeavors that you are, were trying to do, you were able to master. Um, this was a crazy week last week. And once again, I thank each and every one of you uh, for taking time out of your busy day to hear my message to you. 2013 should be all about striving to reach your dreams, looking at your obstacles and challenges, and going forth. Now, I got a letter last week, and um, I wanted to talk about, I'm going to add it in here, but I want, I'm here to tell you something. Where you're headed, there are some things and some people that won't be able to go. Now, I know for some of us, that can be very challenging and downing, and very daunting, because that's the reality, because it's your life. You are responsible for navigating and fulfilling your dreams. I tell everybody, there is no such thing as fairy tales. Fairy tales only serve as a means of distraction. But your dreams, your dreams, serve as a road map that can be fulfilled through consistency. So, with that being said, it is up to you to determine how long that journey is going to take. But, you've got to first know who you are. And that can be very scary for some people because you've got to be real. As you can see on a lighter note, I'm letting my hair grow and it's coming. But you know, I made a commitment to myself to walk in faith, even with this endeavor. Because I'm telling you, looking at a brother that I would be more prone to cut off my hair and have a bald head, throw my earrings on, or just fade it up. But God has chosen me through spirit to say, no, I need you to step into a dominion that you've not seen. So, I'm doing so. And when it gets time, if I'm not feeling it, I'll do what I do. Now, to get back on point, have you noticed that when you're trying to achieve some things, make things reality, you will be faced with what I call the Doubting Thomases, or even worse, you have those that have already settled into where they are, and they will more or less not enhance you, but they will block you. The reason for that is because they feel that if you evolve, you're going to, you're going to leave them. That is not the case. See, what you got to understand is this. You came on this earth as a spiritual being first. You're going to go, when it's time, by yourself. But your life work is through connections on this, on this planet. You have a job to do. And it is up to you to see it come into fruition. Now, I want to get back to this letter that I got. And first and foremost, thank you for everyone that's taking the time to, to send little comments. Um, it's been very, it's been very, very, last week was very eventful. But I make time, I, I make sure that I respond as diligently as I can. So keep them coming. If you have any questions or you want to talk about, feel free. Send them my way. And if anything, 
I'm going to make sure that you get the truth. Now, I got a letter, I got a letter from someone that they, it seemed like either they were in a relationship currently or they had exited a relationship and they were in their personal crossroads. And you can tell, <laughs> love that synchronicity, soul to soul, it's time to get back to reality. Well, you can hear the passion in this person's letter because this person wants to grow. But the person that they are emotionally connected with does not. I'm here to tell you this. There are two type of people that will come in your life. One, that they're going to grow with you. They're going to walk with your walk. It's part of their journey as well. And then you have those that, because they have allowed their self-esteem, they've allowed their self-worth to be broken down, that they more or less will try to sabotage what you're doing. You cannot fall prey to that. You cannot. I tell everybody, as you already know, if it is divinely meant, you will see them again. Now the paradigm of that is this. Will they also enjoy your transformation? Because they too are going to also grow, you know, or are they going to be those that unfortunately you'll be the one that got away. Now we have the we have that thing called choice. Your day to day is about choices. Your actions is a reflection of choices made through thought first. So it is very important and very imperative that you keep your emotions in check, in balance. I know sometimes when we face some some of the things that we have to, it your emotions kicking the gear and you may say or do things out of response to your mindset at that time. I'm here to tell you this y'all. If it's not in flow, you have to let it go. You have to. You can't make someone do something they do not want to do. But on the flip side of this is that. No one can do what you want to allow. And then that look, and you have to look at it as this. Is your environment being enhanced? And what I mean by that is, your environment should be a direct reflection of who you are as a person. Who you are as a spirit. So if you're in the clutches of drama, um, when you're trying to forge things in your life that is going to better your life, you're already faced with negativity right at the gate. The reason for that is, is control. I once told a dear, dear, dear friend of mine, they, um, they, you know, you know how some songs, you know, they 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 reference the word "I, I love you who you are." I don't want to ch don't change. Don't don't do. Let me tell you something. You wasn't brought on this planet to live stagnant. You weren't. You weren't. You were not. And if you have something in your life. May it be a job, may it be a family connection, may it be a, a, a friendship. First of all, if you got a friendship that is not helping you grow purely, it serves no purpose. It serves none. So you've got to go back to yourself and look at, number one, how did you attract these 
these events in your life because everything that you're going through is an attraction to a choice that was made. I'm going to keep saying this until God tells me to stop doing it because I know I'm talking to somebody. you got to start loving yourself. You are going to do some things for the best interest of yourself that is going to that is going to shape the crowd but make sure whatever choices that you make you can sleep with them at night I was in a conversation uh, matter of fact last night while I was at work and you know we chopping it up and you know I, we were talking about some things and I said you know have you noticed for every one step you take in a positive, uh, positive stance, you there's something or someone that wants to knock you back two steps? Look, shake them people off. Because, number one, the people that truly care about you, care about the best interests, that want to see you prosper, they're going to tell you the things that you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Because what they're doing is the things that they're telling you that they want you to hear is for their agenda. And you, and if they're coming at you like that, they don't respect you. You're just a pawn in the game, y'all. Look here, respect yourself, even if that means you gotta be by yourself. For real. Because guess what? I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. You stay on your course, you stay on your path, and God, or your higher power, my higher power is my Lord Jesus Christ, He is going to take you and open doors that you never thought would ever exist. He's going to surpass your whole mental thought, and all those people, you know, we call them haters, what's going to happen is they will not be able to grow. They're stuck there. Six months from now, five years from now, and you look back, nine times out of ten, they're doing the same thing. The reason why they're doing the same thing is because they have not atoned for the wrongs that they've done. And so guess what? Their environment, they're in a habitual cycle of the same thing that got them there. Because they attracted that into their lives. So I told this person, um, I responded to the person with a letter, and I said, listen, you were brought on this planet, number one, to be in peace. Number two, when you have peace of mind, you have harmony. Three, it is your responsibility to love yourself, even if it is you are by yourself. You dictate your happiness. The people you allow in your in your life should enhance it. They don't define it. So, when you have people that are connected to you, that won't grow with you, they're basically saying, "Hey." I don't have the tools to go forth. And guess what they do? They give you they give you a thousand one excuses and not one truth. That's sad. Cause that means they lack some developmental skills emotionally. And that turmoil gonna eat them up. It's gonna eat them up. But guess what? It is not your responsibility. What you supposed to do is take a position of compassion, kindness, truth, you pray for them, and you stay the course. And if they truly value who you are, because you are a precious, precious commodity on this planet, you have a distinct job to do. That's why that proverbial each one teach one comes into play. You got a job. 
that you got to fulfill. That's why they say, you know, you got some people get, that get caught up with the concept, well, you know, hell is uh, fire and breath. Some, no. Hell is a life course gone wrong. But you still got the power. You still got the the mm, the gumption within your spirit to change it. But you got to make a choice. So the question you got to ask yourself is this. If I can't grow with you, why am I holding on to you? I know I'm talking to somebody right now. Love yourself. That is the greatest gift you can ever give yourself. Because if you're not respecting yourself, ain't nobody going to respect you. If you're trying to go back to school, but all you're doing is giving excuses why you can't go back to school, don't get mad for where you are, because that's a product of your reality. If you have children and responsibilities of being a parent, but you want to go back to school, prioritize your time. You have online, you have online schools everywhere. See, God will always give you the ability to find a way. But you've got to decide when that day is. You deserve all the happiness. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve it. You deserve it. So when they start throwing things at you, when they're trying to strip you down, think about this. They did that to God. They did that to Jesus. And the reason why they tried, they stripped him down, tried to break him down, because they didn't understand how great he was. And you are an image of him. So, when you, when you got people that is constantly negative, they're constantly dropping the ball, constantly disappointing you, don't get sad. You pray for them. Because guess what? Those same people, same ones, one is divinely meant, you will see one of two things. The rebirth and been made new, or you will see the tombstone because they did not grow. And you don't need anything that is holding you back. I got some other stuff I want to drop, but I'm going to leave it right there. God's praying for you. You know I am. Make 2013 that go-get-it year. Your blessings are right around the corner. Peace.